When I was eight years old, I, jo I, I enjoyed a lot building my own uh, personal computers. And right now, I enjoy a lot building a better society. And today, I'm going to start with an experiment that some of you may have heard. It's an experiment where you put a lot of crystal balls in a jar, and then you ask a lot of individuals how many balls are inside the jar. Almost no one will guess and will, and will hit the result. But if we get an average of all the answers, we will, we will hit it. And this is called the wisdom of the crowd. So I have some colleagues that left a paper in every chair. So please, guess the number of the number of crystal balls that we have here. I'm going to show it. Guess the number. <laughs> the number is here in this paper, written already. And at the end of the session, we will figure out what happened. OK. <laughs> uh, it's super important that you don't share the guess with your friends, because this would add bias into the model. OK, so please keep it for yourself. So OK, everyone, we are human beings, right? Um, and uh, by definition, a human being is social. We need to express ourselves. We need to communicate. In fact, today, we are communicating ourselves in many different ways. So social networks, deep web, also in the, when we are in the hairdresser, in many different ways. This is generating a huge problem of infodemia. So only in the last two years, more than 90% of the content of internet has been created. This is huge. And 80% of this content is unstructured. Unstructured means that it's totally heterogeneous. So it, uh, it's in multiple formats and in multiple languages. In fact, this is generating like a systemic problem in, the, in our society related to uh, reacting late. And this is a real example. So in the middle of the pandemic, in March 22nd, we identified like some early warning signs about food insecurity in some neighborhoods in Colombia. Two weeks later, we had this in breaking news in New York Times. Then we have an amplification of the message in social networks. This make that all the society, the richest part of the society, goes into the streets and empty the supermarkets. So the problem was even bigger, more hunger. 40 days later, society, so big organizations and also companies react to the problem. And this problem is causing more than $6 trillion losses. And I'm not mentioning the lives that we are losing with this re related to the cost of reacting late. This problem is impacting in two, in two main um, areas. First is that big organizations, so society, thought leaders, opinion leaders, don't have the proper information at the right time. And this is impacting in the trust of the society. So people are not feeling hurt. Not only the lack of trust is not only impacting against the social structures, is also impacting in or personal relations. In fact, Bertel, Bertelmann's um, analysis of trust in 2022 is assessing that the cir circles of trust become more local. So we are, we are going more niche and niche and niche, and we are only relating and trusting the people that, that is similar to us. So let me put things in perspective. Um, who in this room believes that COVID-19 has been the worst pandemic in the history of humanity. Please raise your hand. I gave the information in advance, so it's a little trick. OK, so it's not the worst. But the infodemia associated to this pandemic made us believe and amplify the magnitude of the problem. And this is what is happening today. And the good news is that there are technologies capable to extract value out of this noise. This is what we call social understanding. And with a great, so can you imagine like putting the right piece of information 
in the right person at the right time. So this would be like a great power, right? And with great power, it comes great responsibilities. And I have two amazing examples of this type of activity that, um, that we are doing. For example, Civic Lytics in Latin America, they are collecting more than 100 million voices in 26 countries all over the region in order to structure that information and identify social risk topics, like for example, gender violence that has been increasingly, increasingly hugely uh, during the pandemic. Other example is uh, World Health Organization with um, EARS platform that has already um, collected more than 70 million voices worldwide in order to identify misinformation, narratives of misinformation relating to COVID and vaccination. This is helping saving a lot of lives. So what happened in the last 10 minutes while I've been speaking here? So we had like more than 9 million tweets. We had a lot of secrets in the dark web and here we have created a data set. A data set of guesses of how many crystal balls are here. And now I have a colleague that is going to bring me the average of all your voices. Okay. This is the reality. I'm going to unleash the reality. This is the wisdom of the crowd. Okay. Wisdom of the crowd, 316. Reality, 319. We are almost there. So we, everyone had a voice. Everyone said what they believed. This is adding a lot of bias, but the sum of all the biases is getting us very near to the reality. And this, is the wisdom of the crowd. Thank you very much.